my name is Gary Patty. I'm at Washington University in St. Louis. I'm a professor in the Department of Chemistry and in the Department of Medicine. And the focus of my research is metabolomics and metabolism. In contrast to genes and proteins, where we can have a blueprint of the molecules present, small molecules are challenging because we really do not know the chemical landscape that we're dealing with. And so when it comes to chemical characterization or structural characterization of small molecules, that can be quite challenging. This is readily accomplished with some of the features that are available on the Orbitrap IQX. This includes high mass accuracy, this includes high resolving power, and the ability to do MS to the N. And of course, we'd like to do this as rapidly and as efficiently as possible. So proteomics and metabolomics both use mass spectrometers. However, the analytical workflows that are required to measure proteins and to measure metabolites are quite different. Proteins are much larger molecules, of course, metabolites being much smaller, they constitute different workflows. So different chromatography and different mass spectrometry workflows, different operations of the instrument. They also involve different informatic resources, meaning that they use different databases. So having an instrument like the Orbitrap IQX that's specifically dedicated to the metabolomics workflow is very useful because it can be ideally optimized for the way in which those specific experiments are performed. One of the things that I've really come to appreciate about metabolomics is that in a standard experiment, you actually detect a lot more signals, a lot more peaks than there are unique biological compounds. And what we wanna to try to do is just focus in on those molecules, those unique biological compounds that we care about. What the Orbitrap IQX is able to do, it's able to hunt down those molecules, those unique biological compounds in real time. So we're not distracted by all of those other peaks. And so that we can dedicate all of, as much of the precious instrument time as we can to the molecules that we care about so we can try to best characterize them as efficiently as possible. It's become relatively routine to acquire a metabolomics data set. However, interpreting that data set remains a challenge. And that's because there are a lot of peaks and we have to be able to convert those peaks into structural identifications. Historically, that's largely been done manually using offline programs, it takes a lot of time and it's resource intensive. What's exciting about the Orbitrap IQX is that it moves a lot of that manual work that was done using other software manually by hand, it moves it to the instrument side. So it's actually occurring in real time while the instrument is acquiring data. And that's exciting because it can inform the way the instrument is actually acquiring the data in addition to speeding up the metabolomics workflow. In my laboratory, we focus on a particular metabolomics application that involves the introduction of isotope tracers. So we give cells or biological specimens or biological samples, C13 or deuterated labeled nutrients. And then our goal is to trace where those nutrients go. What sort of other molecules do those labels find their way into? When we start looking at lipid species, there's a lot of crowdedness in the mass spectra. A lot of the lipids have very close M over Z values. And so the ability to have a million resolving power on the Orbitrap IQX gives us enormous power to try to differentiate some of those species, particularly once they start getting labeled. So the Orbitrap IQX is really well positioned to tackle some of the, the major challenges that remain in the field of metabolomics. Maybe we should ask the expert on the Orbitrap IQX. What do you think, Milo? Huh? <laughs> what do you think? Resolving power? Mass accuracy?